Hi guys, this is Spartan765. Um, you know, I was just looking at my Ruger 1022 and realized how sickening it is that once you lock the bolt back, you gotta pop a Megan and then push that little button to let and pull back on the um on the bolt carrier to let it go forward. I mean, that's just annoying. So I was experimenting, just just looking around inside my um uh, my uh, trigger group and look at where this pin goes right here which is where the bolt stop goes. And I was thinking, well, if that had leeway where it, where it would just rub up a top or that metal was gone, it should slide forward. So, you know, I'm thinking to myself, oh, I can buy another bolt stop off the internet for two bucks if my experiment doesn't work, but, you know, hey, it worked. Um, this is a modified Ruger 1022 bolt stop. Um, all I did here which was just, there was a little, hang on, let me see if I can get the camera to focus. There was a little piece right here that came down that I just dremeled off with a dremel. This is the dremel I use, just a regular old diamond bit. Um, the, what the bolt stop does, if I, if, I'll make another video on this, but um, I just did this like two seconds ago and it works. But um, what the bolt stop does is when you, uh, if you're familiar with the Ruger 22, you push the little button up that's in the bottom of here to, to make the bolt stay back, like that. But with the, with, when the bolt stops back, it holds the bolt back. In order to let the bolt forward, you've got to push that button and pull back in the bolt and then, re and then let it forward. With the automatic bolt stop, you still do the same thing. You just push it and it stays open, like this. But then in order just to to put it forward you just pull back on it and release it and it goes forward automatically um, this is uh, something that is very simple to do I was looking online today and I saw um, automatic bolt release um, automatic uh, bolt release bolt release is selling for 16 bucks um, really you don't need to spend that type of money it was probably it was 20 plus shi 20 including shipping One, just if you got a Dremel it's not very hard to do just just grind off this um, little top piece here. Uh, I could have made a video on it, I suppose, but you know, I guess I didn't. And then a good way, a good thing to follow is so when you push this up and release this, if you're making it this, so this part here should be just about almost flush with the um, trigger group top. If it's like this, you need to, if it's like this need to grind off a little more but if it's flush like this that means it's good some people like the bolt out of some people like the bolt stop the way it is on stock rugers but I don't I like it to like the way it is on an SKS where you just pull back and it lets it go um, that's a way to do that um, got any questions just send me a message or anything Spartan 765 out